What's going on everyone? So yesterday, LeBron James point blank said that this is Anthony Davis's team, right? LeBron James is going to be 39, year 21. At some point, Anthony Davis has prepared to take over the reins. Uh, Anthony Davis, he got his new contract extension. He was even asked at the media day, hey, do you feel now that you got your extension, is this your team? And he gave in my opinion, the correct answer. I know some people wanted to hear him say like, yeah, this is my team. This is what I do. What he said was along the lines of, you know, this is the Lakers team. I play for the Lakers and I get both sides of the coin. I think that was the correct response because you know that that would have been a running narrative. They also asked Anthony Davis about playing 82 games because last year he famously said he wanted to play all 82 games. He said again, he said, that's always my goal, right? I always want to play 82 games. We'll see. Who knows? But the goal is to play all 82 games. You know, he was asked about the 65 games. He said, basically, we'll wait and see because, you know, I'm not about individual accolades. Obviously, if you play 65 games, you get the, the trophies and stuff like that if you qualify. Uh, but that's not what it's about to me. Goal is winning. I love that. I'm fine with that. Now, I hope, I would love to see him play 65 games. I'd love to see him play all 82 games. Even if Anthony Davis, and I said this last year, even if Anthony Davis wanted to play all 82 games and was healthy enough to play all 82 games, I still don't believe he'd play all 82 games because I don't think the Lakers would allow it, right? It's just the NBA and league that we're in now. And especially with this roster and this team, he doesn't have to. He really doesn't. Um, and hopefully he can stay healthy. But here's the thing. LeBron James for years now has talked about how this is Anthony Davis's team. You know, we've heard all the reports, all the murmurs of like, you know, LeBron wants Anthony Davis to take the reins and all that stuff. And I agree. He needs to. He should. Right. He should be the best player on this team. I mean, LeBron James is still going to be great. But Anthony Davis on both sides of the basketball, he should be great doesn't mean I need Anthony Davis to go drop 40 a game or anything like that. This team is deep. It's talented. It's all of those things. But I need the consistency from him, right? I don't mind. I know a lot of people want Anthony Davis every night to go drop 30 and 15, right? Which last year he led the league in 30 and 15 games. And he also led the league in 35 and 15 games last year. Just something of note. But I do want to see him as the best player be the guy that's taking over late in games and on a regular basis, giving you just high quality production. I've always said, I don't care that he scores 30 as long as we win the game. And Anthony Davis has relayed this, right? I don't think there's anything wrong with Anthony Davis having 12 points on like, you know, three or four shooting and grabs 15 boards with like two blocks, two steals and, you know, three assists or whatever. I don't mind that if we're coasting and we're dominating and we don't need AD to dominate, right? I, I don't think that that's an issue. And that's one of the things that I like about Anthony Davis. A lot of superstars in this league, they have to eat. They have to get theirs. They want to be the high usage guy. They want the ball in their hands constantly. They want this, that, and the other. They want their 25 shots a game. Anthony Davis doesn't care as long as it leads to production, it leads to winning. But when we need him and it's his job as the guy and as the best player to now show up and deliver, that's when I need him. That's when I want to see. But LeBron James has to do his part. It goes all across the board, right? LeBron, very rarely, if ever, does the ball never see LeBron's hands when he's on the court on the offensive side. Most of the time, he has the ball the majority of the shot clock. Like, I've seen people defend LeBron and say it's not just his responsibility to get Anthony Davis the ball. It is when you're holding the ball for 20 of the 24 seconds on the shot clock, right? Like, if you're the guy that has the ball and you're saying that Anthony Davis is the guy for this team, there shouldn't be a possession, if ever, where Anthony Davis doesn't at least touch the ball. Whether you're dumping it down to him and he's kicking it out, Whatever the case may be, right? Because that's usually how it goes with the best player. Now, with Anthony Davis, you don't have to you don't have to run your entire offense through him, but you need to get him the ball. LeBron needs to get him the basketball, right? Like in the play, it seemed like at times DeAndre Russell was the only guy actively trying to get AD the ball to a 
fault at times, right? Because it would cost, you'd get costly turnovers and stuff because he was trying to force it in AAD. Now, it's not just on, on LeBron James, though. He needs to do that, though, to really set the tone and establish Anthony Davis is our guy. Get him the ball. He is the first to eat. It's hard to say Anthony Davis is the number one option and I want Anthony Davis to be the number one option when you're taking five more shot attempts per game than him, right? Like, it's kind of hard to say, well, you know, hey, he's the number one guy, but Anthony Davis is taking like 17 shots a game and you're taking 21, 22. That would make you the number one guy, right? And Anthony Davis isn't the guy that's on the ball out on the perimeter. LeBron is. LeBron's the guy that is the point guard at times or the point forward at times. But again, it's not all on him, right? Anthony Davis needs to establish himself. It is as much on Anthony Davis as it is anybody. Anthony Davis needs to be aggressive. He needs to establish position. He needs to call for the ball. And if the ball's not coming, demand that basketball. If you have to call the coach out, if you have to call LeBron out, if you have to do whatever you have to do, you need to do those things. You have to get in LeBron's face on the bench and tell him, give me the basketball. If you have to get in Darvin Hand's face and tell him, give me the basketball, do it. You don't think LeBron James and Darvin Ham would love that? You, I mean, seriously, you don't think LeBron James, who wants that from, he wants that Anthony Davis, he wants that dog. Darvin Ham wants that Anthony Davis, he wants that dog. You think if he's not getting the ball and he goes and he cusses out LeBron James and, and Darvin Ham and tells them to get him the ball, you don't think that they'll be smiling going, there he is, there, there he is, I'll get you the ball, right? He needs to do a better job of being the leader being the alpha, being the guy that says, I am, you want me to be the number one guy? I am the number one guy. Let's do this. Let's go. He has all the tools, all the intangible. He's the best defensive player in the league. The guy is a absolute wizard on the offensive side when everything's clicking. Supposedly, his entire offense is back. He's knocking down three balls. He even talked about it and addressed it. He did say, which I do appreciate, he said, anybody can knock it down efficiently when you're wide open in the gym practicing. It's another thing when it's under pressure. We'll see how I translate when, when I'm actually under pressure and it's important for me to knock those down. I love that answer because he understands the grass. Because he could have said, yeah, man, I'm, I'm out here killing it. You know, I'm, I hit, you know, 99 of 100 threes the other day. Like he could have said whatever he wanted. But no, he said, you know, I, I got to show it. I got to prove it to you. I've been terrible the last few years. It's time for me to show it. Because Bubble AD, that guy was literally the best player in the world. That guy was ridiculous. Hitting fadeaway threes, hitting game winners. Like, the dude was a bucket. His 15 feet in has been automatic. His 15 out has really struggled and dropped the last few years. Anthony Davis also talked about how, you know, he also doesn't want to fall in love with the outside shot. You know, especially if it's falling. Even if it is falling, he talked about how, you know, because his, his advantages are around the rim. His advantages are in that post area, right? 10 feet in is where he he's basically can't miss. And so I, I don't want to see him fall in love. Like, let's say he is starting to knock down the three ball. I want it to be just another weapon in his arsenal. You know, he doesn't want to be like some of the other big men in the league you know, kind of a shot to Joel, kind of a shot to Carl Anthony, guys like that, where all they want to do is just shoot threes and play out on the perimeter. Anthony Davis doesn't mind. He even talked about playing the four or the five, where he said, you know, I, we haven't talked about it. You know, how many minutes am I going to sp spend at the five? How many minutes am I going to spend at the four? But he's expecting to play at the five sometime, right? And it's not that he never wants to play the five. He doesn't care about that. He just doesn't want to spend... 90% of every game at the five, which I understand. I get it, right? But he's going to have to play some five, which is fine. But again, LeBron James has to do a good job of establishing Anthony Davis as the guy because LeBron James is LeBron James, right? He's one of, if not the greatest players ever. And he has that gravity to him that really just, everybody's just going to fall in line to him. I mean, even guys like Dwayne Wade have uh, went and did those things, right? So it's one of those things where 
you know, I I, I want to see LeBron James actually take the steps and take the effort to really go, hey, this is our guy. Let me let me lead by example. Anthony Davis needs to do a good job of dominating and showing that like I am that guy. And then Darvin Ham needs to do a better job of play calling to get him in position to get the basketball. Run plays to free him up. I mean, Darvin Ham even called himself out <laughs> in the playoffs. There's no reason Anthony Davis should not be seeing the basketball at the in the fourth quarter and at the end of games. There's not. He's the biggest mismatch you have on the basketball court. Give him the basketball and let him go to work. Right? There's no reason. I understand that they're double teaming or whatever. Figure it out. Come up with some play designs. You know, set some screens. Whatever you got to do to get him free, get him open. Draw him out on the perimeter and tell him to go establish. Whatever you got to do, get him the basketball. It goes for all three of those parties. LeBron, who is the guy, needs to be willing to take that step back to be the second guy. Anthony Davis, who's been the second guy, needs to be willing to take that leap into being the first guy and the head coach, whose job it is to put everybody in position, needs to draw up those positionings so that way Anthony Davis can get the basketball. If that happens, I expect a very dominant Anthony Davis season. I'm expecting an MVP level season from Anthony Davis. We go as far as Anthony Davis takes us. It's that simple. If Anthony Davis is, you know, maybe not even the best player in the world, just a, a arguably top five talent this year, which he's more than capable of. I mean, the way that he can dominate both sides of the basketball, there's very few guys that can. <laughs> I mean, especially at a big man, right? Like, Giannis is probably the closest, but he doesn't have the offensive weaponry that Anthony Davis has. Embiid and Jokic have the offensive weaponry, but they don't have the defensive capabilities that Anthony Davis has. So, Anthony Davis has that I could be the best player in the league type talent. It's up to him to actually go and do that. And if he does do that, I don't think anybody beats these Lakers in a seven-game series. I don't care who it is. It's, I don't think Denver beats them. I don't think Phoenix beats them. Phoenix has no answer for Anthony Davis if he is that level of Anthony Davis. I'm not even saying he has to get the MVP because, again, I don't know if he plays 65 games. But I need him to be there in that conversation, dominating the game. I need him to be finals MVP level Anthony Davis and dominate that position. If he does that, nobody's beating them. Giannis and Damian Lillard sound nice. They're not beating this Lakers roster with an Anthony Davis that is giving you 30 a night in the playoffs with 15 rebounds, three blocks, three steals, four assists, just completely controlling both sides of the basketball. And then you, on top of that, have to worry about LeBron James being LeBron James, Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, Rui Achimura, Christian Wood. Like, just not, you're not stopping that team. Most, there's not a team in the league that has an answer for Anthony Davis. We need him to be that guy. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. To agree with me, disagree with me, somewhere in between. However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below.